So at this point, you've watched a couple videos. There's a video here that uh, goes with so a PDF file of notes. Then there was the screencast that talked about the cell cycle. And at that point, it said, go ahead and go to the mitosis uh, notes. So what your part of the assignment is to click this file. When you click this, you're going to watch um, the PowerPoint and copy down the slides. And I'm going to walk right through it. So when you click that, this is what you're going to get. So first, cell division. Here we are again. One cell divides into two. So each one of the slides is one slide per stage of mitosis or the one slide for interphase, which actually has three parts. So let's talk about interphase first. If you look here, you can't really see chromosomes. They're in the process. You can tell that you're starting mitosis because of here, here, here. The nuclear membrane is starting to dis disappear. And the animation actually is going to show uh, real pictures. Um, so th just don't forget we need to understand we have the nucleolus, the nuclear envelope, nuclear membrane, plasma membrane, chromatin. It says dispersed. It means uncoiled chromosomes. And then this is the centrosome centrioles. By the way, this would only happen in uh, animal cells. This, this all takes place in plant cells. And we'll talk about the difference. So let's generically get into it. So first, again, the whole purpose is you're supposed to be copying down these notes. I'm not going to leave it up there for that long. If you want to listen to my narration and pause, or go back to Blackboard, open up this file, and have that playing at the same time you're watching the video. Just pause the video, and you'll see it, or pause the video and hit Alt-Tab and bring up the PowerPoint. So uh, the things to emphasize here, and this is something I do as a class lecture, but we're kind of running on low on time. So first, let's state interface. Here's the three parts of interface. All right, G1, S, G2. Go back to the previous video to know the greater details of these. So you'll notice I put growth grid. I didn't put S there. But if you were to ever list the sequence, you would say you would start at G1 and go all the way around to your back. Or maybe you'd start at mitosis, talk about cytokinesis, then go to G1. So look, chromosomes are going to duplicate themselves so you're going to grow, and then somehow you're going to get to the S stage. So when you're looking at this, envision the pie chart. So we're at the first part of the pie chart. And then over here, the second part. Uh, well, in between, of course, would be the S. Now, if you're in G1, you're doing most of the life um, normal, meta normal metabolic activity. So this is a lot of this is taking place during G1. The trigger that says go from G1 to S, duplicate your chromosomes, and really we should call it chromatin. Uh, you can't see chromosomes, so it's in interphase. Now, you can see chromosomes. How do you know this? Somewhere between interphase and the beginning of mitosis. In particular, the end of G2 before mitosis, if you want to be technical. The chromatin is going to coil up. You're going to see chromosomes. And one way to know it, see, this is actually some early prophase. This is later. One thing you'll notice is, and follow, look at the little points. All right, chromosomes are held together by a centromere. You can't see this in this video. Nuclear envelope and nucleolus, they're going to disappear. So imagine here they're starting to break up. They're breaking up. So over here is interphase. This is early prophase. This is, you can call this early prophase. You can see chromosomes. See how it's actually expanding. It's almost like it, they explode out, like a balloon popping, and the chromosomes just fill out there. They're protected now in the cytoplasm because they're in this band called a chromosome. Next would be metaphase. Again, this will be a short video. Pause it at every point. I'm going to give a couple pointers, and then you could do the rest on your own. All right, short one. Then go back for a second. The spindle fibers are going to attach to each centromere. It's a doubled chromosome. I've called it a dyad. It's a doubled chromosome. Now, chromosomes are going to finish attaching. They're going to be pulled towards the poles. Uh, if this, if it's a plant cell, you won't see um, centrioles. The spindle fibers kind of embed into the walls of the cell uh, wall in a plant cell. Now, they're going to line up. Think about meta as in middle. It lines up across the equator. Some people call it the metaphase plate uh, or, the, or the equatorial plate. So the separation stage for all of the divisions that we're going to learn, whether it's mitosis or meiosis, is always anaphase. Anaphase is the separation. You pull it apart. Think about A for a part. 
So the centromeres are going to pull apart. The spindle fibers shorten and coil up. The chromatids separate. That's the biggest thing. Now make a note. Chromosomes migrate to eat. Chromosomes? They were chromatids. Well, a chromatid is a duplicate of another chromatid. Uh, a chromatid is a duplicate. Remember, it's in that doubled chromosome. So it's genetically identical when we're talking about mitosis. You're making clones of the genetic material of the parent cell. So the chromosomes migrate to either pole. After they separate, it's correct to call it a chromosome. It's going to go and it's going to uncoil and become chromatin. So the longest phase is prophase. The reverse of prophase is another long phase called telophase or telophase. So now the spindle fibers broke up, uh, break up. The chromosomes are going to unwind. Nuclear, you're going to get a new, so you got genetic material here. You're going to start building a nuclear membrane around there, building a nuclear membrane around there, because the chromosomes are uncoiled. DNA is, is going to be protected from the, from the cytoplasm by being surrounded by a nuclear membrane. And it's, it's in a physical form called a chromosome during mitosis, so it's not damaged. It's, in, it's a kind of a measure of protection. Now, the last thing is knowing the difference between prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and is, is pretty interesting. But telophase, you got to see whether you're a plant or an animal. It's going to form a cell plate or a cleavage furrow, and then all of them are followed by cytokinesis. This is the division of the cytoplasm. So we're going to go and end here. Um, there's one more slide, which I'm not going to show. It just reiterates the cell plate and cleavage furrow. I should warn you, it is loud. I couldn't turn the sign sound off, so I'm not going to show it now. But if you want to do that, do that on your own. And that is mitosis, the short and sweet version of it.